Hi. So um, we in the car just delivering this envelope to the nail box. Oh, show them what it says. Hold Where's it, it out. Where's it going? It's going to the red nail box. And where does the red mailbox go? To... Um, Who are you sending your letter to? Santa. Where does Santa live? At the North Pole. So that's where it's going, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, we are actually at the mall, and we're going into Macy's. My mom did her research because I'm like, I know that they have red mailboxes somewhere, but we haven't seen any no. driving around. So she was like, Macy's always had one. She called, and Macy said that they have it on the second floor near customer service. So that's where we're going to drop off our letter. And if you know of anywhere else that you can drop off letters to a red mailbox, let us know because this is the only place that we know of. Yeah. So leave us a comment and let us know if you're aware of any other locations yeah. or anything. But yeah. that's what we're going to do. We're going to head in wait, here. Yeah. What's, what's that called? A tower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It used to be a racetrack. They used uh -huh. to race horses over there. And I have to touch up Lou's hair before we go in because she wore her sunglasses on top of her head. But we're going to do that and then we will take you inside. All right. For our little fun time at the mall, yeah. we are going to ride the escalator upstairs. Okay, well, we're out to lunch, yeah. and we are at our neighborhood Red Robin. And look, I got to color this. Yeah, that's the little coloring page for and the little. this is just the... Um, that's also the menu, mm -hmm. and it's a seek and find. Yeah. Um, but what did you get? You get a, a hamburger? Yeah. And Daddy and, got the crazy wait, burger. and I got uh, oranges with it. Oh, okay. And I got the Mad Love Burger, which is a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's like Parmesan and cheddar crisps, uh, jalapeno relish, provolone and Swiss cheese. I don't know, a couple other things. It's kind of kind of sickening. Um, and does got a salad, which is great. And so this is our first time like out to eat anywhere. Yeah, and, since and look. We were, All right, Lewis, enough the of last that. time we like ate anywhere was when we were in Disneyland in the beginning of March, literally right before everything shut down. So Lou's been asking to go to a restaurant, so we figured we should go now because I'm not going to be going anywhere once this baby comes. So that's it. It's our first time out. And can I talk? Yeah, go ahead. Give me your drink. So um, we here. At Red Robin. At Red Robin. So they brought these so like your kids like to like the food needs some time to cook. Right. So why don't we wait until the food comes out and then you can tell me what you think. Ooh, that's the what is that? This is the avocado, so it's like a cob with avocado. Nice. It smells so good. That's 
that burger. And Lou, what, what's yours? You don't know? What are you eating? Okay. So we, we went a little overboard, as we always do. And yeah. Because I can't eat these. So I decided to get the little donut stack. And, and I got this. Hold on, tell them, tell them what you got. The cookie. What is it? A cookie. A cookie. Chocolate chip cookie? What did I do? What, what happened to this? Well, I don't know. What? Whoa! What happened? I know. What did you do? Was I, it like that before you left? Well, it didn't. Somebody might like this. Make it a fish. Who was it? I think it's Sister Peggy. Oh, she might ruin it. Well, Sister Peggy. Sure, I'm glad I hit you on that. Sister Peggy did that. Mom, the train is ruined. Sister Peggy knocked it over and now it's all like knocked over. Okay, now who's the best? Look, Bubba, Bubba. Huh? Oh my goodness! What happened here? Trying to fix it. Alright, so you just want to fix it? Mm. The track is a disaster. Mm. All I said was train, not fix. Well, we might as well just pack it up for the season and put it away. No. Nope. We still need it out. Alright. Just leave what? it like that. You must have done this. You did put the strips down. And now Bob's run it all over. And now you didn't put the tricks down. And now... That's probably what happened. Nope. We didn't put the boundary strips down for okay. the robot vacuum. Okay. I think this is a ghost. A ghost must have been... Uh, Sister Peggy might put a spooky trick on us. Oh. So, um, so I... now I'll be... Uh, I'm not doing this. But just pack it up to go and like just put it back in the attic and like just leave the tree out and just put this whole train away. Alright, sounds like a plan. Ready? Today Luna Bell completed her uppercase letter. <laughs> go ahead, put your flag on. Good job. <laughs> And we did get our new box, but we're going to wait to start until Monday. So I have to write her name on her new certificate. I'm doing my glucose level. And luckily so far, my numbers have been so good. So I have my appointment in two days. And I'm hoping that maybe this is just something that could be monitored through diet. Because all of my levels have been good. So... This is my two hours after breakfast, and we're at 97. So I'll see what they say when I go to my appointment, but so far I feel like it's not looking too bad. And I will get back to you and let you know what they say at my appointment. We're getting ready to head out. We're gonna take Luna Bell for a little fun night. Um, she was a little disappointed yesterday. We were supposed to see Santa driving through my mom's neighborhood on the fire truck. Um, my mom saw a Facebook post that he would be coming around last night and she's waiting and waiting, listening for sirens. 
and they never came. And then I saw that they apparently were only doing the east side of my mom's neighborhood and not the west side. And that's where we were. Um, yeah, so she was kind of sad. So tonight we're taking her to dinner and that's all she thinks that we're doing. She doesn't think we're doing anything else. But after dinner, we have a surprise for her. So just stay tuned. We'll take you guys to dinner and then you guys can see where we end up taking her to lift her holiday spirit a little. What's up everybody? So we are at our little date mm -hmm. and we are at the Barnesboro Inn in Pittman, New Jersey. And look, I made this picture. It's upside down. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's nice. And, and look at this. We, we made Ariel. The mermaid, yep. Yep, yeah, yeah. All right, so we are going to have some dinner. We're going to have a little fun. Um, well, I took like a quick walk around. Yeah, she, this is, uh, so this building's been here for over 300 years. Uh, it's very old, uh, very historic building. So we're kind of in like, it looks like what it would be a living room right now. Um, but we'll show you some footage of what the different rooms look like. And then I'll try to get some footage outside before we leave. Daddy's gonna teach you to walk around when we're done eating. Alright, so they said this place is 300 years old. We had to come up the stairs to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And these are the stairs. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Okay. But then check out this bathroom. Yeah, I have to check it out. It's like, it's a neat little bathroom. And then we're gonna head back downstairs. So the food came, I got a barbecued beef brisket. Comes with fries and a corn cake. Luna Bell got a quesadilla. Well, I'm not gonna eat. Yes, what? Are. Why aren't you gonna eat it? Because she ate too much bread. You're gonna eat it. It looks delicious. That does look so good. If you're not eating it, it's lunch tomorrow. Mom, what did you get? I got fish and chips. Ooh. Which is like one of my faves, but I haven't gotten it in a long time because you used to make fun of me that I used to get it all the time. But that one looks good. Looks I was good. actually looking at it on the menu myself. Yeah. All right, well, let's dig in. All right. I'm gonna give it a taste. Bye. So we just pulled up to our surprise for Lou and we are at Creamy Acres. Now normally their night of lights is a hayride, but because of COVID, it's not this year. So you just get to drive through in your car.
the neck the donkey. Hey, huh? Hey, huh? Hi. So we are at Creamy Acres and we're making s'mores. We're making s'mores, so they have a little s'mores kit that you can buy for five dollars. And I got some hot chocolate also. And they have a bunch of different fires uh, set up, and they're all spaced out. And you can even share the same fire with another group because they would just sit across from you. So it's a fun little thing, and we'll see uh, how the s'mores go. Hi, so I made a s'more. I didn't taste it yet, but it looks very yummy. <laughs> Try it. Well, it's too hot. No, it's okay no, it's now. Mmm, yummy. It's good? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so you want to go meet Olaf? Alright, come on. We'll go check him out. I'm going to say hi. You want to say you could shit, you could wave. Do you want a warm hug? Do you want a warm hug? Yeah. Do you want a warm hug? <laughs> Do you want to take a picture? All right. All right, Lou. Smile. Great picture. Hello, Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> That's all? You just wanted to see him? <laughs> That's him. High five? No? Scared? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you silly. So I just got done my 32 week appointment. Um, all of my numbers look good. Like he asked me if I was already put on a special diet and I said no. Um, I told him that my aversions right now are like sugar and like junk food. So I just ate normal and my numbers look really great. So when I go, I have to keep doing this by the way, I have to keep testing my blood sugar four times a day. And then I'm going to bring all this information when I go for my ultrasound next week, I have to do an ultrasound to check on the baby in the third trimester and someone's going to meet with me to go over all of my numbers and we're gonna figure out a plan, but he said this looks like it's just gonna be monitored through diet because my numbers are looking really good. So that should be the plan, and then I will meet with someone at Maternal Fetal Medicine next week.